guys, welcome to Dead Ringer. We all know family dinners can be awkward, especially with a bunch of bloodthirsty cannibals who expect you to wear your finest human flesh accessories. So we're here with special effects artist Joseph Drabesco. Hey everyone. To help turn our friend Moose into the best leather face he can be just in time for dinner. Joseph is a New York City based media makeup artist focusing primarily on film and television. His work with special effects was most recently seen on season 12 of Face Off. But I think the Sawyer family's getting hungry, so we better get started before the meat hooks come out. <laughs> So what exactly does it take to turn Moose here into Leatherface? Well, in order to create the mask that I'm gonna put on his head, um, I'm gonna create a bald cap and I'm gonna create a latex face that I'm going to stitch together, add some details such as lashes and uh, grommets, and then we're gonna slip it on your head, size it, cut out the ears, and put on the wig. So this is definitely not gonna be made out of human flesh. Well, I tried, but not this time. Not this time. Okay, well maybe next time. How do you feel about that, Moose? Um, until we can grow flesh in a lab and use it in the, you know, fun, scary Halloween industry, I think this is the next the next best thing we're going to do. I'm very excited. I've never worn a wig before. The last mask I wore was from a 99 cent store. It, gl <laughs> it glowed in the dark. Oh. So I'm very pumped to become Leatherface. So the first thing I want to do is I want to kind of just build up that first layer um, that's gonna kind of hold everything into place. It doesn't look like much the first few layers, but when you start actually building it up is when it's gonna start really coming to life. So while Joe builds up the layers of the mask, we spend a lot of time waiting. You'll know that the latex is kind of dry and ready for the next layer when it goes from kind of white to clear. Um, at this point, I tend to speed up the process with the blow dryer. And thank God for that. No, but really, this process is taking forever, but it is totally worth it. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is powder this. It's going to reduce its stickiness and just kind of start building up that kind of finished look that we're going for. So at this point, what I wanna do is I wanna kind of try and size um, both the bald cap and the face, so when I sew it together, I'm actually sewing it at the appropriate height. Then Moose becomes no one as he puts on a piece from the Many Face Gods collection. It's not super secure, but it's really gonna become more secure once I get the stitching in. For this next part, you can either break out your grandma and her sewing machine, or you can get the threads yourself and sew together a masterpiece of flesh. But that's not all. We still have to jack up Moose's teeth. Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this plastic bead into hot water, it's gonna melt, and then we'll be able to fit a teeth appliance into his mouth, and then it will eventually harden and actually fit him so he can wear them without um, them falling out. Are we making a leather face or draws? Stay tuned to find out. Here's this beautiful apron. It smells like a Nintendo cartridge that I'm trying to clean off. <laughs> yeah, we're getting to the good stuff now. We'll yeah. move in. You don't miss a thing. I feel like we're on a cooking show. <laughs> that looks so delicious, and I love the allspice. That's such an amazing touch. Now it's time for the finishing touches on the mask, like the ears and the grommets. After that, all that's left is a luscious head of hair and the brows. It's the little details that really make you appreciate how Leatherface had more DIY skills than we thought. Just douse yourself in blood and forget to wash your hands because it's finally time for dinner. I'm just so tickled by this whole experience. I feel like a brand new man in a new suit of flesh. It's such an empowering, really emotional experience. It really makes you feel in touch with your humanity, your fellow man, all you beautiful people out on the internet. It's just a brand new day and I'm excited to be part of it. Salt. I'm trying to wash my sodium. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. I have blood on my hands, guys. Thank oh my you. god, did you eat it? What? 
That's what you do with human flesh. You eat it. I gotta go.